Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at six fantasy tanks that are actually better than the tech tree versions that they're actually based upon. Now for fantasy tanks I've used tanks that were either prototypes, didn't exist or pure fantasy like the one in the picture which is a smasher. It's pure fantasy, doesn't exist. Now I've also tried to use those fantasy tanks that are premium tanks or collector tanks rather than in the tech tree. So without further ado, let's crack on with number six. Number six is an interesting one. It's the Matilda. Now the Matilda is a real tank. It is in the tech tree at tier four and it's a British heavy. The British used this tank in World War II and it was one of their mainstays at the beginning of the war and in fact it went through the duration of the war. In the game it's very heavily armoured and it's very slow but it's got a good rate of fire even though it dishes out pretty poor damage. It has recently had a buff, um, it can now travel at much better speed than what it used to travel at. But that's not the idea of this tank. The idea of this tank is it is meant to be a big, massive hunk of steel that has a bit of a pew pew gun, but is difficult to penetrate. And there is a picture of a real life Matilda sat in Bovington Tank Museum. But what about its fantasy version? Well, ta da! It's the Matilda Black Prince, the British tier 5 medium tank. So firstly it loses its designation as a heavy. This is a premium tank in tier 5. Now some would argue it's not a fantasy tank but I disagree. Actually this is pure fantasy. The British only made one prototype and that was remote controlled. It, it wasn't real. It didn't really exist. And they dropped the project. Now the difference between the two tanks is this. I mean the Matilda Black Prince wipes the floor with the tech tree proper Matilda. The DPM on the BP is 2003 compared to the 909 of the Matilda. The penetration is 46% better. The rate of fire is 22% better. The reload time is 22% better. So the Matilda Black Prince and there is a picture, the only picture I can find of the remote controlled mock-up prototype Black Prince is not a real tank, it's a fantasy tank, yet it is much better than the tank it is based on, bizarrely. Next at number five, for well, how this one's going to be controversial, we have the Panzer 4G. The German Tier 5 medium tank. I recently did a video on the Panzer IV and the Panzer IV G was in that video and the irony is it wasn't the most produced Panzer IV variant. That accolade actually belongs to the Panzer IV Alf H which is a better tank than this in real life. But we have this one in the game and you know it's ironic because this was the main workhorse of the German army in World War II and there is a picture of a Panzer IV G at Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia. But what about its fantasy tank? Well, I give you... Ta-da! The Panzer IV Anko Special. A Japanese Tier V medium tank. And you know what? It's better than the Tech Tree version. When this tank first came out, it was a premium tank. It's now been redesignated as a collector. And it's better than its tech tree counterpart. It has better DPM by 4%. It has a better rate of fire by 4%. It has a better reload by 4%, oddly enough. It's just much better. And it's based on this, a Japanese Annie series called Girls und Panzer. Ironically, it's a Panzer IV Alf H. Bizarre! So the main German battle tank in World War II is actually not in the game as a tech tree tank but as an Annie fantasy tank. Now moving on to number four we start with this tank the M4A3E8 also known as the EZ8. This is an American medium tank sitting at tier six in the tech tree. 
it's a real tank. It was one of the best Shermans made, to be honest with you. It's called the Easy 8 because of its suspension. And in the game, it's not a bad tank at all. In fact, it's really, really nice to play. There is a picture of a real Easy 8 sat in Vancouver, Canada, of all places. But what about its fantasy counterpart? Well, I give you, ta-da, the Fury. This is an American Tier 6 premium medium tank based on the movie with Brad Pitt called Fury. Now, this tank outshines its tech tree counterpart. It has better DPM, better rate of fire, better reload, better aim time, and that's because it's recently been buffed. Now, a lot of people argue, well, it's really not a fantasy. It's a fantasy tank, guys. It is basically an easy eight dressed up for a movie. Simple fact of life. It didn't exist in real life. It's just an easy eight. So why is it better than the bloody tech tree version? The tank that is actually based upon. Who knows? Anyway, we now move to number three. This one is going to be slightly controversial. Firstly, this is the IS-2, the Chinese Tier 7 heavy tank. That in itself is bizarre. The IS-2 itself was, in real terms, a Russian tank. It was made by the Russians and it was used by the Russians. It is a tank that exists in its own right as a Russian tank, but it does not exist in the Russian tech tree other than the IS-2 1945, which is a premium tank. Bizarre. So this is the only tech tree IS-2 and it's Chinese, but it's based on the Russian IS-2. Now, anybody who's played this tank in the game will know it's pretty bad. I mean, it's got awful aim time, awful gun handling. It's just pretty bad. And that is a picture of a real IS-2 in Holland. So the tank exists. We know it exists. It's a real tank. But what about its fantasy counterpart? Well, ta-da! I give you the IS-2SH. This is a Russian Tier 8 heavy tank. And guess what? Not only does it wipe the floor with the IS-2 in Tier 7, the DPM, the penetration, the rate of fire, the reload, the velocity, the aim time, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it really is just a much better tank. It's also completely made up. It is a fantasy tank. This tank in real life was just somebody's idea and they drew a picture. That's it. The reason it's called SH, by the way, is because the designer's name was Shashmurin. <laughs> That's why it's called SH. And that is the only known picture of the IS-2 SH. A tank that was based on the IS-2. So why is it so much better? Who knows? Moving on to number two. Two, I give you the T-34-85. This is a Russian Tier 6 medium tank, and it's a pretty good tank. Another tank that was one of the backbones of the Russian armed forces in World War II, and renowned as probably one of the best tanks ever made. Now, don't get me wrong, in the game, it's not a bad tank in its tier. And there is a picture of a real T-34-85 in Kubinka Tank Museum. But what about its fantasy counterpart? Well, I have the pleasure of giving you, ta-da, the T-34-85 Rudy, which sits in tier 7. It's a Russian medium tank, and it's a premium tank. And the irony is this. It's based on a Polish television series called Four Tank Men and a Dog. It's a T-3485, people. It's, <laughs> it's no different to the Tech Tree version. So why is this tank better? It has better DPM, a better rate of fire, better reload time. In fact, it's just better. And there is a picture of the Rudy from the TV show. Bizarre Wargaming. Why? Why is a T-3485, that is a T-3485, better than a T-3485? It makes no bloody sense. Well, what sits at number one? Well, here we go, the prime reveal. At number one is the KV-2. 
this is the Russian tier 6 heavy tank it's a shadow of its former self I mean it's recently been nerfed the HE has been taken away from it to an extent it's been sort of the penetration has been lowered so it's not dishing out as much damage as it used to be this is a tech tree tank it's a Russian heavy tank and it's as I said it sits in tier 6 and it's also a real tank the kv2 existed they there aren't many of them around uh, some of the pictures of the old wartime pictures are of captured kv2s with the germans but that is a real picture of a real kv2 sat in the red army museum in moscow so what about its fantasy counterpart i give you ta -da, one of the most broken tanks in the game the smasher this is a hybrid nation tier 7 heavy it's a premium tank. sorry it's a collector now firstly it's a tier higher than the tank it's based on secondly this was drawn uh, it's a concept tank made by the guy who draws um, tank girl which is a comic book series and it was a hollywood movie that wasn't very successful but the comic book is very successful this is by far much better than the tank it's based on i mean it's one of the most broken tanks in blitz so again we've got another comic book tank that is better than the real tech tree version that it is based on why war game and here's a bonus here's a switch around so first off we have the tiger 131 a which is basically a tiger one it's the german tier 6 heavy tank this is a premium tank now the thing is this this is a real tank the tank itself was firstly used in the film fury it is the only working tiger tank in existence and it is housed in Bovington Tank Museum. It was captured by the British following the Battle of Tunisia. So it's a real tank. It really exists. It's an early version Tiger. Now, let's not go into the fact that Wargaming completely buggered this up. It's got the wrong colours. It's got the wrong turret and everything. There is a picture of the real 131. Now, this does have a fantasy tank mainly this the Kuru Mori mine the Japanese tier 6 heavy which is a collectible initially it came out as a premium tank this is slightly better armor wise than the Tiger 131 so this Annie version because it's another girls and panzer is better than the real tank that lives in Bovington Tank Museum that was captured by the British in the war but I can't use this one because the 131 is a premium tank and this is a collector, so it's not a tech tree. However, both of them are Tiger 1s, oddly enough. And there is a picture of the Kuru Mori mine from the, the anime series Girls and Panzer. This is the irony. The Tiger 1, which is what the tiger 131 is based on is a german tech tree tank sitting at tier 7 and it is by far better than both the tiger 131 and the kurumori mine this is a reverse of the other tanks this is where a tech tree tank is better than the premium tanks modeled on it why wargaming didn't do that for the others is beyond me they appear to have got this one slightly right. The Tiger 1 in the tech tree is actually a later version Tiger, unlike the Tiger 131. But it's still bemusing how the Tiger 131 is slightly worse than the Kuru Mori mine. And there is a real life Tiger 1 sat in Kubinka Tank Museum. So those have been my six fantasy tanks that are better than the tech tree real tanks that they're based upon okay i appreciate that may be slightly controversial and there's that bonus at the end i've been fujit i hope that's been informative by all means comment and all the other stuff below if you haven't pressed subscribe yet please do so it's a lovely thing to do and it puts a smile on my face and it costs you nothing if you've got any decent replays send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my discord server where you can upload them even easier you can now follow me on facebook twitter 
and even Instagram. And until the next time, I will say, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because, you know, that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.